G'day, mate, and welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. Now, I know I promised no more outposting, but we need to do some outposting. I was down here setting up the second copper, just ran the train line out, built the whole thing, you know, put down the artillery, said hello to the neighbours, as you normally do, and realised we're on a mech's patch, so I've got coal. And it's only the three miners. And look, I, I could just remove the three miners and just ignore the coal. And the... Uh, 40,000? 40, 40,000 copper? But we're a little bit desperate. So, I'm going to show you guys with the new... And I'm going to put this train track back. So hopefully the train starts coming. It does, good. Um, I'm going to show you guys how we now deal with this with the new... Uh, the new splitters. So we're going to go filter right. I'm going to say coal. I'm going to drag that up. And four, five, six. So anybody who has been playing Factor O for long enough should remember the old method. We, we'd put down a whole stack of, of filter inserters and then we'd box stuff up And we're going to set you to manual. Because I really don't want you running off. And then, after we've done that, we would put down another set of inserters. And we take that stuff, and then we go pop it somewhere. So on and so, you know, pop it back into the network. Uh, there and there. Um, I'm doing the same thing. Except I'm going to let this now do all the filtering for me. Except for what's already on the belt, which I'll need to pick up. There's crap all through here. That looks like all of it. Uh, plus it's crap in the train. Of course it's crap in the train. Uh, okay. And I've gone fast inserter. Because if this belt backs up, things break. It stops working. Then I've just gone slow inserters. Because they don't need to get out there in a hurry. Um, but I've put down more than enough storage, I hope. 20. It's about 40,000 with productivity bonus 50,000. Uh, that's 5,000, 5, 10,000, 15,000, 30, 60,000. So we should have enough storage here for all of this coal, and then some. And if I just rebuild that, it means all the coal is going to get dumped into these. Now, when this is finally mined out, or I suddenly need coal, we might pop to come down here and convert this copper outpost into a coal outpost. And I'll take the 60,000 coal and just put it straight in my train. And we'll take it wherever coal does go and needs to do things. Uh, where's my tank? There is no way I can take you back to base. Best I can do is crunch through that laser and park you safely in here. And we're going to leave the tank there for another day. Okay. How full are you? 6,000. Meh, I can't be bothered waiting. Uh, copper unload. Please tell me I'm on that train. I oh, am. Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, we're going to use our lovely artillery whilst we're sitting on a train. Oh, that's out of range. That's unfortunate. That's in range. That's in range. That's in range. How expanding. Now, the artillery will automatically clear them out when they get super close. But whenever I'm riding a train, if I just jump on and just, just, just flatten a few of them along the way, we'll be fine. Alright, jump off the train. So, we finally have copper running. We finally have iron running. We have steel running all the way over here. This is plastic, which is um, dead. Very, very dead. Which probably need, means we need an oil outpost. Which I'm not going to be happy about. So... 
this is our solid fuel into rocket fuel. That only runs if we have over 5,000 petroleum, which we don't. Light oil cracking only runs if we have over 10,000 light oil, which we're at 9.9. .9. You see, any time that pops up higher, we'll crack it. Uh, heavy oil cracking runs at 5,000. Yep, we're at 4.2. So a little bit's been used for lube. Um, we're definitely out of oil. Let's turn some of these things off. That off, that off. Oil one. Uh, the tanks are running dry. Yeah, 722. And where's oil... That's oil one. Do we have an oil two? Sure we have. No, that's landfill, iron, copper, ammo stations. Uh, oil unload. Well, let's just click on that. Oil two. We have an oil two station. Where the hell is it? Oil two. 1600. So this one's doing slightly better. Um... Okay, so we need to go do what we can about oil. Now, our choices are setting up a new outpost. Great idea. Um, takes time, takes effort. Uh, second option is we go speed beacon the crap out of what we've got. Mining productivity, 14, 15. We are so close to... And what are we waiting on? It's yellow. And that's because of blue circuits, and blue circuits are because of red chips still, I bet. Which is because plastic. Of course it's plastic. That's what we're trying to fix. Alright, so we're going to come up here. We're going to grab all the speed modules we possess. 91. At the same time, we've been making speed module 1s for quite some time. So I'm going to grab a shit ton of them as well. Because oil is infinite, there is no limit to the amount of oil you can have. Uh, you can you can pull out of a single oil ref, um, oil pump jack. Pump jack. That's the words I'm looking for. Um, so because it's infinite, um, speed beacons are a great way to keep your oil flowing as it starts to die off. <coughs> Um, is there a train track? There's a bit of train track. There's a train. Uh, fuel, anything, go. Oil, two. I'm going to start two because it has the better just hover over yield. Uh, I don't know which one's actually better to use, but on a quick hover the mouse over and see, it looks like the better of the two. Uh, come on, we want to get down there as quickly as possible and see what we can do to fix this. We're still getting attacks up here. Where from? All the way up there. Can I shoot it? You know what? I can shoot it. <laughs> that solves that problem. Uh, Okay. Let's see, this has got no, no, no shells. Uh, we need to change this. Change this over the new format. Um, artillery right there. Then what do we have? Two decider combinators. A uh, bit of red wire. And we went red wire from there. No, we removed that. And we went there to there, there to there. We said if that less than 200, output one green signal. And we set that to green signal greater than zero would turn the station on. So at the moment it's off. And then we did the same thing. We went that chest to that combinator. 
that combinator to that one. We're going to copy and paste that, and we're just going to change that to. Uh, You need to be thoroughly capped, and I should probably have thought about that. Because I'm only about none of the other ones have filter inserters either. Hmm. It's alright. It's alright. Uh, artillery. Boom, boom. Just because I've got a heap of heap of shells down here, that I'd hate for them to sit around being wasted. Yeah, you know, going rusty and stuff. Uh, look, two down here. Three. Oh, it's this one now. Huh? Yeah, we're we're we're, we're definitely getting there. Uh, yeah, biters went from being an annoying nuisance to how fast can you click? Oh, out of range. I don't know if I've done this one. I'm assuming I have. I probably did, and the artillery I was using ran out of ammo. But this guy's going to get out of ammo soon. Okay, anyway. Uh, oil. So. We start off with our beacons. And you want maximum coverage. So, that one right there gets those three. Uh, can I rotate this guy? So, I'd love to put one right there. Except the pipe's in the way. But if I rotate it twice... Right. And we can go full jinky on the pipes. It's now not a matter of clean piping. It's how many good quality beacons can you get into your build. Um, well, that's still hitting three. That's hitting three. That's hitting three. That's only two. What else can we do? That one's three. That one's three. That's three. That's just one. That's three. That's two. That's substation. Does that have to be there? Nope. That does have to... Well, that one has to be there. Uh... Alright, let's go there. With speed modules, and uh, we could leave there and go to here. Okay, so it still cooks up. Uh, so then, if we destroy that one, can I put it? Well, there we go. That's three of them. That's three. That's three. That's a good start. So, this guy's by himself. You can see he's outputting 5.6 oil per second. Uh, he's got a plus 28% productivity, so that's that purple bar. And that's from this research. Um, which certainly adds up. And mining speed of one. we take one of these guys... Who's already at mining speed, you know, 2.5. He's doing way better. He's actually lucky because he's already putting out 10. Uh, that number's actually dependent on the oil rig. Nothing to do with my speed beacons. Uh, but... The best way, as I said, the best way to upgrade your oil... Is to come out here and... and Where can I fit a speed beacon? 
Can I move a speed beacon over to affect more my uh, more pump jacks? Um, power it up after the fact. Because power can go in anywhere. Anywhere you have a spare square is where power could be fitting. Uh, but that one came out. It could actually go one tile in there. No. Ah, oh, it's now sitting on top of that one. Hmm. Ah, okay. So let's remove that pipe, that pipe, that pipe, that pipe, that pipe. And let's bring it that way instead. So by replumbing that one, I'm going to get a beacon in there, beacon in there, uh, beacon there, beacon there. And again, see, I, I try and get them as close as possible. If I move it over one tile, I can actually get the next miner. Which means when it gets to here, it's not affecting this guy. Alright. So, let's run that by again. So, we've got one... Two, we're, we're talking this pump jack on the right. So, we're getting one, two beacons coverage. Third one is too far away. If I trim them off, and I put them like so, the third one covers this guy as well. So, it's more speed. Two, three, yep, yeah, moving that out one tile won't get me any benefit because I just can't fit anymore. Uh, let's go there, there, there. Uh, let's move it in one tile so it affects that guy. Let's move both those in in one tile to affect this pump jack. Uh, you see lots of these beacons don't have power. That's fine. We'll come back and power them after we've got them popped out. Uh, okay, so we, if we pull those guys up, and we put one in there, one in there, and one in there, we can then put one there, one there, one there, 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 so on and so forth. Okay. Power, power, power. Um, this has probably done something to our power in the 10 minute graph. Yep, eventually. Oh. Okay, now that we've done that, we're out of normal stuff, we'll put down some level 1 speed modules, because that's all we've got. All we've got spare, and unfortunately, got a lot of these that aren't. Don't have a lot of these beacons don't have modules in them, and there's nothing I can really do about it. Can I tidy you up? Uh, nope. 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 Uh, the only thing I can do is bring it down here, and no, I still won't fit. Uh, you don't have a speed beacon. My speed module. You don't have a speed module. You don't have a speed module. Uh, that'll do. But you now see how quickly it's filling up. Uh, we're doing much better. Now, the potential yield won't change. Because that's how it is on plain vanilla straight out of the, refi out of the, the, the pump jacks. Uh, but, um, as you can see, well, these are actually filling up now. This is in the same position as oil 1. 45k, 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 45 You get the picture. Uh, so we're going to turn you on a manual. We're going to say... Uh, there is none in here. So we want... We're going to look up the logistics network. And we're going to type in speed module. There's 124 ones, but no threes. So we've actually used all the speed threes. Um, do you have robot coverage? 
you do. Okay, in that case, I'm going to rip these up. Because beacons use power. Even if they're doing nothing because they don't actually have modules in them. And I'd much prefer them to be sitting there doing a whole lot of nothing than just chewing through my power for the fun of it. <gasps> Oops. Well, I guess I got that achievement. No, I get hit by a fluid wagon. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Oh, good one, JD. Turns out that's where spawn is. <clears throat> oh. I oh, know, you're all waiting for it. You're all waiting for my own stupidity. Well, there you go. Delivered. Uh, oil. Have I run too far? It's so dark. I can't see my feet in front of me. And red belts run f move faster than I do. Don't run on red belt, Jodie. Not just going with the belt. Uh, my corpse? Look, I I I'm just having a nap. It's all fine. It's just been a long day. I'm having a nap. <gasps> oh, these are going to be rearranged. Shit. Okay. So, this is how you make JD clean up his, his hot bar. Uh, eight, four. That one can go in the bin. Where the hell are you lot off to? Oh, you're picking up trees. Excellent. Just what I wanted. Uh, <gasps> shit. Almost did it again. Pay attention where you're running, JD. Uh, that's a train track. That one goes there. That's a... Oh, pump jack. That's where I wanted to be. That's a T intersection. That's a lasery one. Uh, that's the beacon one. That's the right join. Oh, that's the, the two lane join. That's the full join. That's probably pretty important now. Okay, so speed beacons. Um, they oh speed modules. These give us a twenty percent speed increase, which is not a lot, but it all adds up. And this is a hundred percent oil, which means I didn't hook up a pipe somewhere. Yeah, right there. Oh look, out of oil. Good one, JD. So those ones have been sitting there forever, and as I said, oil's infinite. Where they could have been producing, and they haven't been because I didn't hook up a pipe. Right. Is that all of them? No, missed that one. That looks like all of them. So we're up from mining speed 1 to 1.4. So a little bit of an increase. Um, power, no. Nope. power. A little bit of a bump. Where are we? Pump jacks, pump jacks, pump jacks. So a tiny bit of a bump in power. Not a lot. Um, but more importantly, it means this guy should at least slightly fill up faster. In theory, 40% faster. So we go from very, very slow to just mostly slow but you know it's something it's something for very little cost to us um, just power um, flamethrowers who kill biters that solves problems uh, I'll make some landfill I am going to auto trash every single beacon that I've got and I'm going to run around the train this time. Uh, plastic. I did put in a lane balancer that I hate doing. Um, and I did the same down here. Because we were just pulling from one side. Um, and now we've fixed oil. It looks like plastic's fine. So does that mean red circuits is fine? Not really. Red circuits is Better. Oh, actually, I want to cut that belt. Okay, come back here. Go back up there. 
and I want to cut that belt, and I want to cut that belt. Because these green circuits have gone through a productivity module treatment. Uh, they come out cheaper. These ones have not. So we're going to cut those copper belts, and we're going to... It means we're, we're, hard, we're, we're drastically removing our capacity. Uh, yeah, you're missing red circuits. And our power is now lighting up. Where's the power pole? Yeah. Which means one of two things. Either I forgot to put nuclear fuel in it again, which is entirely possible. Or we're just pulling too much power off the grid. Good news! I forgot to put power in it again. Alright, let's automate that. Finally. Uh, and the Kavorax, because I went and requested the, the, the centrifuges down here, and then didn't build it. Went off and did something else. The joys of Factorio. Uh, Alright, so I got a heap of centrifuges. Fuel cells are made in... That doesn't tell me why it's made in. Assembler, obviously. Uh, yourselves. Oh, with that desperately. That's enough, Daisy. Uh, uh, of course, the dog's gonna ruin my recording. No respect from these animals. It's sort of like these fuel cells to be put, you know, somewhere and actually power something. It'd be really nice. Um, that way still. Oh, of course. They wouldn't ever get in there because the inserters are off. Meh. We've got some power. Some power is better than no power. I'll heat back up slowly. Alright. Let's see if JD can forget to automate this again. Yeah, all you have to do is get hit by another train. That'll do it. Um. Okay. Bump, bump, bump. So we're going to... We're going to pull the crappy uranium out of here because at the moment it can't get back in this chest. It's, this chest be full. All chests be full. Uh, actually, we might even do... We might even do one of these horrible, horrible active providers. Oh, that's going to craft for a while. Uh, request the chests. So what do you need? You need good uranium, bad uranium. Uh, sure. Let's put down some bad uranium. And let's put down some good uranium. Mm. Sure. I still gotta do a Kavorax. Uh, nope. That sort of goes there. That power pole goes there. That power pole goes there. You are going to request in iron, sir. And you, sir, are going to have output. And you are only going to run if we have fuel cells less than 50. So you just need iron. Do I have iron? I have 50 iron. Have my 50 iron. Make with the fuel cells. Uh, so I really want to go in there. We have so many of these things. Uh, what what are they called? Uh, used up uranium fuel cell. Okay, so L for logics. You 156 of them. Okay, that's been broken for a while. Um, active provider just. What happened? I know I crafted one. Oh. 
That'll do it. Let's get all the items I pooped. Because I pooped. Nothing ended up on a belt that shouldn't have, I don't think. Uh, Uncap that. Problem solved. Uncap that. There. All uncapped. Okay. Um, alright, purple chest, there. Okay, so we got some uranium fuel cells, you have now turned off because we've hit 50 in storage. That's running again, power-wise we're still fine, we're fine, it's all good. Alright, uh, Kavorax. Okay, so you need 40 good uranium, 5 bad uranium. Stack and soda in, stack and soda out. Uh, and then you output... You take three ba 5 bad uranium in and output 2... Uh, 2 bad uranium. So if I do that and I set you to uranium... And actually, let's output there take in on this side we set you to good uranium we do do I have any filter insert us probably let me get rid of that and I'm going to get rid of those you're now running you're happy you're satisfied you don't have iron you're requesting iron ah turn that one off <gasps> Solved. There you go. I like simple answers to simple problems. Um, I'm going to make sure this belt stays empty. Same with this belt. I'm going to make sure it stays empty. Um, so really, I want the uranium. I want the good uranium on this side. So I can pull it off and I want to put the, put the output on the outside. So the belt's always clear. Uh, same goes down there. So I want that to go there. Uh, no, let's go... Insert up. So I want to output, then I want to input. Output on the good side, and output on the outside. Take so I want, I want the material on that side of the belt. There we go. Okay. So then if I go power pole, power pole, uh, power pole. Another blueprint. With the power pole. With that missing belt. So. And a couple of filter, ins filter inserters. No, because this risks them pulling out on the wrong side of the belt. Okay. So I need to handcraft some filter inserters. And you, 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 and you. Only output uh, crappy uranium. Okay. Uh, now we'll blueprint it. So from power pole to power pole. We'll just double this down. Like, just, just once or twice. Three or four. It's fine. Okay. Make a crap ton of those. And just just what I can of those. No, I'm not handcrafted green circuits. That's 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 too much love. Not happening. Uh, 14. No. No. 
not, not, not handcrafting green circuits. It's not happening. No. Right, on the belt, get our ass up here as fast as possible. Just pick up a green circuit or three. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hopefully, that's everything we need. Still got your in my hands. Try to get rid of this stuff. Uh, all those inserters go down. Okay. Uh, request a box. Uh, yeah, lots of it. That didn't work. So we're going to make you a buffer chest, and you are going to request that a thousand at a time. Okay. I have some good uranium and some shit uranium. We have both. Okay, so we're pulling in on the far side, and then we're going to put it back out prior to. So the idea is, this guy can pick up 80, which is the 40 he, can, he needs for the process, plus an extra 40. Alright. And these guys will just loop along until one... So this one's only got 30. So when he gets 40, he can then start his own process. And here we go. Output, input, output, input, output, input. Uh, same will happen with the bad uranium. We're going to output two bad uranium, which will slide along the belt. And there we go. And he doesn't count because I overfed him. Oh, a lot of these guys don't count. we got way too many there. So we output our bad uranium onto this side of the belt. Now, what the hell we do from there? Uh, so I can't really let either of these belts back up. Okay, so this one's easy. We're going to take you for a long magical tour. All the way. Back to there. This one, on the other hand. Fuck if I know. Um... We're just gonna take you. We're gonna. Nope. I'm gonna underground. Underground you. I'm gonna bring it back. And I'm just gonna feed it back in. Input priority, right. It's a bit of a waste. Because it means at all times, half a belt is just looping. Actually, you know what? What we could do is we could do that. That slows it down at least. Uh, anything on that side of the belt's ruined now. Uh, oh, ghastly things I do for you, Factorio. Uh, okay, it's the best I could do. Make shit a mess. Mm, I can't filter it. In case good uranium comes through. Okay. It's the best we can do. It's the best we can do. We're just going to ignore it. Never look at it again. Yeah. So we have these gaps where they pick up. And we'll have excess on the outside where they've put stuff back down. Um, but we have a continuous loop, and we have Kvorax running. So that means when we research this, we'll be set. Um, Alright, so we've done speed modules. I finally got iron for some reason. Uh, we fixed up oil as best as we can. Uh, the only thing we can do to tidy off this episode is first see if we have any. We have 59. Okay. Uh, okay, so we've put down some more productivity modules in red circuits. Uh, let's go for the concrete. There we go. Uh, and we'll do... No. Now, you know what? You know what? We're going to do... 
Blue, blue assemblers. Go on. Then we're going to do that blueprint. And we're going to get rid of everything but the assembly machines. You suck. You defy the, 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 the rules of the game. And we're going to pop that back down. Boom. Done. And then modules will get delivered. So, search, prod. We've got four left. Go away, search box. Um, so, the only thing we can do is... We can actually... We're, we're, we're going to do it. We're just going to delete you lot. Now we have this blueprinted and in our hand and accessible. Uh, we'll wait till all these are actually delivered. No, actually we had four left over, so it should be fine. Oh, they are delivered anyway. So we're going to put that one down. Uh, whilst we're here, let's upgrade the next set. Power's still fine, because that's really worrying me now. Alright, all of those are now fully upgraded. Uh, that one, and that one can go away. Alright, that's about the best we can do. Um, red circuits. We're doing 8k a minute. I'd obviously like to do more. No. We're doing 8k per 10 minutes. We're only doing 800 per minute. Yeah, 8k a minute, I'd probably be happy. Um, but we still have a problem with not enough plastic. Um, which just comes down, it's being fed off one line. So we're going to fix this. Wrong way. Uh, nope. I have to make an ounce of a difference. Uh, where's the other one? You see, the other one's going better. Sort of like, looks like green sli circuits are slipping on better. And actually backing up. Uh, plastic? Nope. Green circuits are backed up. Plastic's doing this weird... Weird... Dropping on gappy thing. Uh, we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try anything at this stage. Uh, where's my blue belt? Oh, there it is. Even upgrade the undergrounds that do nothing, and we're gonna do the feeding. We're gonna fuck everything up, too, then, aren't we? No, that's supposed to be a splitter. Okay, there we go. So I've unbroken everything I just broke. Go with blue, blue, just on the off chance. Just on the off chance it makes an ounce of a difference. No. No. Oh, it's doing alright. If we had more productivity modules, we'd be better. Uh, whereas this one's short on. See, this is doing the funny side-loading thing, too. Side-loading is just not reliable anymore. Um, which means we might have to redo this. We can keep plastic down the middle for argument's sake and do rare uh, green circuits on the outside. We have room to change things. Um, maybe that's an option. Maybe that's an option we look at in the next episode. 
Because we need more red circuits, that's for sure. Um, productivity module, we're alright. Because they're just so much slower. Um, either we rip the whole thing up and go with a, a fully beaconed proper build. Um, oh, and we need to do Skynet as well. Yeah, lots of things to do. Alright, whatever. We'll do all that in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. And with the end of mining productivity... Actually, let's, 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 let's go for the big guns. We're going all out. We're going all out. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Comments down the bottom. Thoughts, questions. Tell me what the hell I, I, I screwed up this episode. And uh, best of all, you know, call me some sort of name. Do something inventive. Um, make me smile. Make me smile. There you go. All right. Uh, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.